You know, with all the you know concern there has been about the MCU and, and Phase Four, you know, a lot of people weren't aren't haven't been thrilled with Phase Four. I certainly think Phase Four has been the weakest of the four phases, but there's a pretty high bar because the first three phases are pretty freaking awesome. But I've always contended, even though that may be true, there has been some diamonds in Phase Four. Whether you're talking about stuff like WandaVision or Ms. Marvel, but for me, the shining diamond of Phase Four has been <laughs> Shang Chi. Shang Chi was that that I can't remember the last time I walked out of a movie where I was like shaking. I was so excited. Greg Alba and I were talking about the story because like Greg Alba was sitting like three seats down from me at the at the uh, premiere of Shang Chi, and when the movie was over, I literally he told this story at our uh, live event that we did in Burbank the other night. I literally walked down the aisle when the credits rolled, grabbed Greg by the shoulders, and I'm like, "Was that not effing awesome?" And he like, tased I, you. What's that? And he, tased and then he pulled you. out a taser and tased <laughs> me. I, I tell you what, I love this movie, and does that, it, and it's not even because it stars a good Canadian kid in Simu Liu. It's just, I thought the movie's fantastic. Wen Wu, I think, is the best villain they've had in a while in the MCU. I absolutely adored and loved, 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 loved this movie. I, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Now, one of the things, though, has been, where is Shang-Chi, right? Where has he been? Like, this movie came out, beloved by critics, huge audience scores. People loved it. Uh... Daniel, who directed it, he's now going to be going over and directing Kang Dynasty. So where does that leave Shang-Chi? Well, according to Simu Liu, Simu Liu is now saying, we're going to see Shang-Chi again, but you're probably going to see him a lot sooner than you think, is what he said. Now, let me see if I can pull up the actual quote that he said here. Uh, where is it? Oh, yeah. This is what he said. When he was asked about when we're we going to see, Simu Liu said this. Who knows? Fans might see something a lot sooner than you think. We'll see. That came from, from Shang-Chi. Because it has been very noticeable by his absence in all the announcements of the upcoming MCU movies and of that, there's been no mention. Where's, where's Shang-Chi 2? Right? It wasn't a huge blockbuster. Right? It made money, but it was not a huge blockbuster. Still much closer to the pandemic era and all that kind of stuff. But the critics loved it. The fans loved it. The ratings are through the roof. It's fabulous. Well, now I say we're going to see him sooner than possible. Okay, so this raises the question then. Let's go back over to the uh, to the classroom here. We're looking at these this list again. These are the upcoming movies coming before, again, Kang Dynasty and uh, Secret Wars. If we can take him at face value here, and he's saying that Shang-Chi is going to return sooner than you think, that to me is suggesting, or at least implying, that we're going to see Simu Liu pop up in one of these upcoming movies. So which one is the most likely one? All right. Let me do the same thing that we did before. We'll do a little bit of process of elimination here. I'm going to start with Deadpool 3. I think Deadpool 3 is the least likely one <laughs> that Shang-Chi pops up in. Mm -hmm. there's, there's absolutely no reason, purpose, rhyme, or reason for Shang-Chi to pop up in. And that's so I'm going to take that out. I'm also going to take out Nexus Fantastic Four. Again, they've got... First of all, four characters in the Fantastic Four, plus if they're bringing in Doctor Doom, plus whatever else they're going to be trying to do, they've just got a lot to accomplish there, and I just don't see any reason, either in the comics or in the movies, why a Shang-Chi would be there, taking him in out of that. Also, next up, taking out Blade. It just makes no sense for Shang-Chi to pop up in a Blade movie. Blade's already got a lot they got to do. they got to build his own stuff, plus we're probably going to see Jon Snow in Blade, the Black Knight. Is probably going to be in there a bit too. All right. Next up that I'm going to take out Captain oh, America, what? the New World Order. I just don't see any reason. I think it's going to be more grounded. Yeah. I I, I just Ooh. don't see. Remember, we're talking about a Captain America that does not have superpowers. It doesn't have any of that kind of stuff. I And there's just no connection between. Oh, but we're talking about, hey, you're on the team, kid. Nothing like that. There just is no even team. That? This is, there's no team. We got to build one for Avengers. But we're, he's not going to be the leader of the one. Avengers. Right, Sam right. Wilson ain't going to be the leader of the Avengers. And like, listen, if there was going to be a team in there, they were going to yeah. see Sebastian Stan. And like Anthony Mackie's already kind of hinted and implied that Sebastian Stan's not going to be in this movie. They've already established who he's connected to relationship wise with the post credit scene 
in Shang Chi yes. where they had the hologram. This, so we know he has connections. Yes. They're talking about his technology and all of that. So like, I I just don't see any. The, the, I I don't think Sam's even ever met Shang Chi. So you gotta meet sometime, baby. Yeah, it ain't gonna be here. It ain't gonna be here. All right, that leaves three options. I'm going to take Guardians of the Galaxy three out next. Now, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 still has some potential impossibilities. There could be a galactic element to the Ten Rings. As, again, kind of maybe hinted at in that scene that we just that uh, Taylor just had the picture up for, right? That there might be a little bit of a galactic element to that. So, I don't think him popping up in Guardians 3 is the most unbelievable thing. I, I would, I'm not saying he's going to be in Guardians 3. Let's just be clear. I don't think he will. But unlike say blade or fantastic four which i think is completely unthinkable that he'd be in there mm -hmm. i don't think it's unthinkable that he could be in guardians 3 i just don't think it's likely. well we didn't see any circle shapes in the guardians trailer yeah we're so. in circles you need yeah. circles hey john captain america's shield is a circle oh, oh why did i overlook that it's a this circle. Whole time. Anything with a circle I, is connected to him. I will say how funny it is how what he's been saying like now compared to maybe a few months ago because when he was asked about uh, Chung Chi too, a few months ago he was like, I have no idea what's going on. Like I don't even you know. But now I I from what he says here, it's got to be one of these things. Okay, right? when you got Marvel's gun to your head, you're like, I don't I don't know what they're I know I, I, I don't know, know what they're talking about. Guys, we want to thank a sponsor of this video, Rocket Money. The average person has around 12 paid subscriptions. Think about that. If you think you're only subscribed to a handful of services, you might want to double check. With Rocket Money, you can quickly identify and cancel all of your unwanted subscriptions. Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill, is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitor your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Rocket Money will quickly and easily identify your subscriptions for you so you can stop paying for the ones you don't want and don't even use. Simply find the subscription you don't want and and press cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. No more long hold times with customer service or tedious emailing back and forth. Rocket Money makes canceling subscriptions as easy as the click of a button. My wife Ann and I moved out of Burbank two years ago and one of the first things I discovered when I loaded up Rocket Money was that I was still paying for a gym membership I haven't even been to in Burbank in two years. So stop throwing away your money. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to Rocket rocketmoney.com slash campia that's rocketmoney.com slash campia rocketmoney.com slash campia all right so that leaves us with two options here all right leaves us with two options and i think the second most likely option is actually thunderbolts and the only reason the only reason i say it's the second most likely is because that is already such a ragtag, weird collection of characters. Again, I see no connection between them whatsoever. But because it's already such a weird, ragtag, eclectic collection of these oddity characters, that maybe Shang-Chi could pop up there. Again, I don't think it's the most likely, though. I think the most likely is the Marvels. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just think, you know, again... That is the one character out of all these lists that actually has met Shang-Chi. Again, with the post credit scene, they've met there. We do believe with Ms. Marvel, like I believe, and I think a lot of Marvel fans believe, there's a connection between Ms. Marvel's bangle mm -hmm. and the Ten Rings. We actually saw the emblem of the Ten Rings in Ms. Marvel. Yep. So a lot of people believe there's a connection there. So I think the most likely out of all those films that Shang-Chi could pop up in next is the Marvels. Now, I will say this. There is one other option that we have not talked about. If we go back to the classroom, that is this. The, the actual thing, option we've been considered is this. Shang-Chi 2. Listen, oh. I don't think, <laughs> I, I don't think that the, the upcoming list of all the Marvel films we have is a complete list. Nobody's told me that. This is just me as a fan speculating. But I don't necessarily think the list we have between now and when Secret Wars comes out is actually a complete list. Mm. So 
While I am not saying there's going to be a Shang-Chi 2, I think that is one of the possibilities that maybe we need to consider. But even if we're considering Shang-Chi 2, I still think the Marvels is the most likely. I don't know, Jonathan, what do you think the chances are if you had to set an over-under? What, what percentage of a chance do you think there is that Shang-Chi actually pops up in the Marvels? Uh, did you give me a number? It's over. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I said, what percent, what, what number yeah. would you set? Over... Over 70. Really? I've so you feel pretty time. confident he will? I've said for a long time, I think you're at least going to have him in a post credit scene in the Marvels. At, at the least. I, I think so. Ray, would, what about you? I would go 70% on the three that were together. Thunderbolts, Marvels, and the Captain America. I'm still thinking he's Captain America, but I will be 100%. Wong will appear in all those movies. That we just listed well, every single one of them hey listen kevin feige said himself it's kevin feige was actually the one who coined the frames it's the wong cinematic universe now mm -hmm. right so i wouldn't doubt that we're going to see wong pop up in a couple more of these things too so i don't know guys question is for you what do you think out of all those movies that we listed is the film that no guarantees that he will show up but you think would be the most likely one that he would show up i think a lot of us here feel that it's the Marvels is the most likely one. Maybe you think it's another one of the other ones. Maybe you think it's something else entirely. Or maybe you don't think we're going to see Shang-Chi again until sometime after Secret Wars and we do get around to getting a Shang-Chi too. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.